Due to my inability to play the game at the moment, I thought to myself, oh, wouldn't it be fun to put all the monuments into one province and make sure that country can use all the monuments bonuses to see how well they do if the AI takes over the game? Well, I tried that, and Britain did very well. Um, but then this happened. So I thought I'd do it again with Constantinople and see if the Byzantines or the Ottomans would pop off and take over the world. And here's how that went. All right, first thing you notice here, every single monument in this list, they have all 46 monuments, all at tier three. This province is crazy. Look at the fort defense on this. 273% fort defense. And look at the war score on this one province. 528 from great projects. The Ottomans will be able to take just Constantinople if they want to attack. That's absolutely nutty. All right, let's hop into the Observer and let the AI do its thing. And uh, let's speed five it. Ottomans, do you have a spy network built yet? They don't have to claim on the province yet. Oh, they just made the claim. Oh, here they go. They declared the war. They stack wiped them on Constantinople. Negative 64% on the siege. A 6432 general. Oh my. Byzantium's up. They're up. They're way up. 27%. Constantinople falls, though. It's going to be a pretty easy victory, I think. Oh. But they're at the, uh, they're at par on the. <gasps> no way, guys. No way. Byzantium holds on. Ooh, interesting. I thought the Ottomans would win for sure. Damn, that fort defense coming in clutch. All right, just like that, it's 54 and they annex Athens for free um, in a single day because of that fort they had on it. I guess now they're only at war with France. France declared on them, I suppose. Unification war. Oh. Okay. We're going to see a big France this game, I think. Oh, uh, looks like they were able to hold on, except they weren't able to hold on to their unions. It appears that uh, they've broken free. Well, they've been deving. Constantinople went from 20 to 29 pretty quick. Oh, here we go. Venice. Attacking Byzantium. Like they do in this patch. I just checked. Byzantium actually has 34 ships, so they have control over the, the sea, I think. Venice probably won't be able to fight them if they keep their ships just around here. And they're only negative 15. So they have roads. They piece the knights out. Looks like Genoa broke to rebels here. Okay, okay. Okay, it looks like they might have white pieced. They're back to war. All right, let's see how it happens. They get stack wiped. I didn't see it. Oh, they have some troops going here. Yeah, they're landing them here. They pulled a uh, Dunkirk to Crimea. They had a valiant run. They put up a, a stiff fight against the Venetians and the Ottomans. But I think uh, in about 200 or 300 days or so, they're going to lose. Oh, wow. Attrition's actually paying its toll. Oh, my. Oh, my. They could do it. Byzantium could do it. Just from the, the war goal. Oh, my. Okay. Ottomans take Corinth and Lesbos. They do not take Constantinople. These guys still have a chance. They still have a chance. Right away. Byzantium reconquest, Arta. Scotland is no more. We have Danish Britain. Oh my god. Dude, that's the discipline shrine, I'm telling you. 85, dude. If, oh, I was going to say, if they take some of this stuff, that'd be insane. No, they just pieced out. Okay. Okay. We lost two provinces. Gained two provinces. Oh, look at this, boys. The Mad Lads. Oh, that might be what they need to turn the table. Oh, the truce is up with the Ottomans soon, too. They're not going to get attacked. They might be able to reconquest all their cores. Oh, here we go. Austria's going for the PU on Hungary. That would be really good for them. They'd be able to possibly reconquest all of this because Hungary is actually doing pretty good over here um, down in Serbia so yeah that'd be really good for Austria if they got that the Naples pieced out so uh, Austria is going to enforce their demands here soon they pieced France out and they got the Union this might get their butt beat here because no Austria might be able to call on their allies possibly oh they're at war with Venice they just went to war with Venice Venetian 
Byzantine Purge of Venice Venetian Heresy. Do they have religious ideas? They do. Okay. Yep, Austria's beating Venice, and Byzantium gets to profit. I like it. I like it. I like it. They called in the Mamluks, too. We're already up to 44 dev in Constantinople. Okay. Austria's going to have a big game down here, especially if they go to war with Poland. Using Hungary's claims on Wallachia. Looks like the Mamluks and Ottomans, or Mamluks and Byzantium, have stack wiped Venetia. But when they do peace out, there they do. There we, oh, and they took Crete for themselves. I thought the Mamluks might get that, but nope. They got Crete, they got Chios, they got uh, Uboa, and they held on to the Union here. Oh, we're seeing Scandinavia this game, boys. Look at that. That is a fat Denmark. One thing I've been noticing in this patch is that the AI is just releasing vassals from their land for no reason whatsoever. I don't understand it. So Denmark did this to Ulster, and they did this to Estonia. In the game where I put all the uh, monuments in Great Britain, in London here, they released Northumberland, they released Wales, they released Normandy, and they just kept releasing and re-annexing their subjects. It got really ridiculous. I'm not sure why the AI is doing it. I just hope that it gets fixed a little bit because that's uh, it's a really a, a hindrance on the AI. Looks like the Reformation is here, um, and it's over here near the Alps. And the Byzantines are back at war with the Knights. Easy conquest of Rhodes here. Purging of heresy, though. No, conquest of Rhodes. Okay. Oh, no. It appears the Ottomans have declared war on Byzantium. Athens is their war goal. Again. Although, Mamluks are coming in clutch in Anatolia. And this is not going to fall. We're looking at the 113-day siege takes here. Ottomans are going to have to re-siege that. Okay. They peace out of that war. They didn't lose anything there. I think they won that war. They're down 38%, 37%. Oh, and that navy. The navy. Oh, if they take the Ottoman capital. The Mamluks. The Mammies. Do the Mammies. Those are some bad mamma jammas, baby. Dang, I did. I doubted. I doubted Byzantium. I had doubts. Okay. They peaced out. They took back the they took back the cores over here. Or they took back Corinth at least. Dude, they must really want Rhodes. The third time they're trying now. Yeah, oh, they peaced out. And they took Corfu and Rhodes. Okay. Byzantium grows. This is what I was waiting for, boys. I was waiting for the Mamluks to make an offensive war because they're probably gonna give cores back to Byzantium. Oh, and if they trap them on Corfu, that'd be amazing too. Oh, let's watch this one. And they already got the capital. The level one fort. I mean, so easy to get. Another fort. Oh my, guys. This is it. The Phoenix rises. Ottomans are being attacked by Austria here, huh? I mean, Moldavia declared war too? No way. Ottomans, the fall. The fall. Oh, they got him off the siege. Oh. oh. Byzantium, stack wipe them. Let's go. Nice, dude. Look at that. Look at that. These guys don't have a truce with Byzantium either. Oh, they allied them right away. Okay. Oh, my. One, two, three, four provinces. Five provinces. They returned. That's crazy, dude. And they took a few provinces too. Oh my goodness, Austria. Bohemian Succession War. They're winning it, so they're gonna get another PU. Or Bohemia here. Yep, there it is. Wow, okay. Austria is a thick boy. Wow, Austria. That is a lot. Dang, look at this too. Moldavia is popping off. You just have two more cores to finish, and they've basilized these guys. Okay. But yeah, they have defensive finish, so their their siege, their fort defense on this province is almost three hundred percent fort defense. Oh my god! Even against the Ottomans, that'll last forever. Oh, here we go. Byzantine reconquest of Kassir. Byzantium declared war on the Ottomans again. 
They called in Poland and the Mamluks against AQ and the Otto. There it is. They got their reconquest back, and they took this core over here, too. Nice. And you know what that means. They got their mission done. They got claims on all of this now. The League War is fired. So I think Protestantism is going to get it in the bag, but I'm not sure. Austria is on the side of the Catholics, so... Um, take your bets. Place your bets on who is going to win this round. Here's the diplomat mode. Austria's going to get huge off of this. They're going to take so much dev. Let's look at the end now. 44 dev. Just wait. It's going to get even higher. Byzantine conquest of Malta. Really? They want Malta from Naples? Okay. 41% of the war. 51 now from 44. 54, so we went up 10 dev in the end, and they peace out, they'll peace out the whole war. Okay. Here's that Austria has won the League War. And Byzantium, while I wasn't paying attention, took two provinces from Naples plus Malta. The so three provinces. Oh, here it is. Byzantine, oh, Crimean War for Independence. Oh, okay. I thought they would declare a regular old war, but I know, I guess not. Crimea declared independence. 63 from 44 dev. That's crazy. 7% on that siege. 7% the AI is boosted. Oh my god! They gave them that much? They gave them every single claim they had. That was every single claim they had on the coast. They gave it all to them. Wow. This is it. This is what I wanted to see. I didn't want to see an Ottoman world conquest. I wanted to see this. They're warning the Ottomans. Oh, man. Oh, that's cursed. You have a Protestant Poland. Ugh. That is super cursed. Here we are again. Byzantine Crusade against Crimea. They're going to expand up here. Although, Theodora's occupying all that stuff. Bro, what if Theodora just gets all of this? Hey, they peaced out. Theodoro grows. Byzantium grows. Here it is, guys. We have... Uh, Byzantium making a deal with the devil to get on the great power list. From here on out, guys, they're going to shoot up to number one. This is going to be interesting to watch. All right, we're in another war. Um, Byzantine crusade against the great horde. They just want all of the uh, caucus here. They got all of that right away. Full annex except for the one province here. That was a very fast war. And another war right away. Byzantium crusade against Shivrin here. Oh. Dude, these religious ideas. Okay. They take all that from Shivrin now. Austria got a PU on England too? Bro! This Austria is insane! I didn't give them any help, I gave it the Byzantines help, but Austria is having the game of its life! Holy hell! <laughs> oh my god. Byzantium is going back to war with the Autos. They called the Mamluks and they probably didn't need to. Dude, and they're integrating Bohemia right now too. That's unfortunate they're going to lose the vote um, by integrating him. So they might lose the Empress but I don't think it's going to matter. They're not going to enact all these reforms, are they? Jeez, look at this occupation of Iberia right now. They made them release Granada, dude. Or at least return the cores. Meanwhile, Byzantium is looking really thick. Yep, I knew that would happen eventually. Byzantine conquest against Caraman. They broke their lines with the Mamluks. Byzantium, Moldavia, Poland against the Mamluks, QQ, and Karaman. Oh my. Did they win every fight they can't lose? They just stack weapon left and right. It's a crusade too, like the they're walking around with mega stacks just murdering everything. Plus 90, and there's the peace deal. They're popping off, my guy. They just need this one province for some more missions, I think. Oh man. Here we go again. Byzantine conquest of Corsica. 57k stack just chilling on Cairo. My god. Dude, what if they sack Cairo? They might. 73. Theodoro, the madman sniping the capital. Oh, they pieced the Mamluks out and they got some of these provinces over here. Oh my. 28 in Damascus. Okay, they peace out Tunis. They take Corsica like they had planned. They take two provinces here. They like their islands, I'll tell you that much. Number two great power behind Austria now. Augsburg declared a punitive war on Austria. 
Look at that coalition, dude. Oh my, Austria. You bit off more than you could chew, buddy. Oh my. Dude, Byzantium. Get in on this. Oh, it looks like Byzantium finally integrated the Adoro. So they're looking pretty thick up here. Look at that, guys. Byzantium devved their way from number three to number one great power, and they're still going. Total, yeah, 220. That's insane. Come on, fight something, do something. Come on, you can do it. This happened. Um, Poland. Poland died. And uh, Byzantium, being their longtime ally, got the Union. So now we're in a succession war with Russia um, and their defender. So they get some help with from Morocco and Milan. Yeah, this is going to be a quick one. Look at this carpet going out here. Milan is a lot of men. We're doing really well over here in Genoa trade node. Scandinavia forms. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, ho we look at that. That is a lot of provinces they just took from Russia there. All right, looks like Byzantium's declared a crusade against the Mamluks with their newfound power of Polish EU. Okay, I guess Byzantium didn't want anything to do with their, that war anymore. They just white pieced. Um, and now they're going into no guy right away. I don't understand the decision these this AI makes sometimes. Against one province here. What's uh what's this Castile War against France? Portuguese succession war. What who's getting the you still got Portugal? Oh my. Can they just do this so they can form Spain? Can they just go and get Granada? I mean, <laughs> they got released in that in that war. I mean, if they just get this, they can form Spain. Here it is. Finally, they declare on the Mamluks. Second Byzantine Crusade. The Mamluks are busy fighting um Prince Oxiana with the jump who called them in. So that must have been what triggered them. 97 dev in Constantinople. Ian has 97. Oh, it's such a close game. Oh my. Nice, nice, nice. They're coring it up, most of it up. This stuff, they're still not coring this or this. I don't get it. Oh my, they just keep building units, dude. 325K to Austria's. Oh wow, it's so close, man. Um, okay. The so Byzantium takes some land, and then Ajam immediately forms Persia. I don't know why they didn't do it before. It was because they had a province that was inhibiting them from forming Persia? I don't I don't quite understand. Are we in our capital? 104, Dev. Yeah, and 119! Dude, they're clicking the Concentrate Development button like crazy, dude. They're just going over here, just like, boom, 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 boom. Smacking this button, dude. 114 over here for the AI Austria. Oh wait, Poland flipped the, or flipped the Orthodox. No way. Well, they finished off Anatolia, except for that one little one province miner up here. I don't know when they're going to finish him off. They have that claim on there, and then they'll get more permanent claims over here. Um, and they finished off Tunis over here, almost. At least they got more land connecting the stuff they had. Oh, rebels must have come down here because Tunis, Tunis got all their stuff back over here. They must have lost these rebels or given them back. They might have just given them back. Lost Tunis again. I don't know what's going on here. They're just giving these back to Tunis because they're not losing them to rebels. So I don't I don't know what's happening. I guess they don't really care to have, have that land over there. And they finished integrating Poland. Interesting choice considering they cored all of that already. Interesting choice. Yeah, they took a lot of land. And they keep releasing vassals. What are they doing? No, they're just not, they're not releasing vassals, they're just returning cores. Yeah, this is an easy war for them. I got already 44. Yo, what if they pillage VN? 127. That cap admin to upgrade it. Alright, they pieced out of that war pretty quick, and they got a decent chunk of land. Um... So this just happened. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. <laughs> like, oh look, power spike. Boom, declares on the Mamlux. Yep. No one's catching them now. Only thing is they're adding everything to estates and they're running into a problem with governing capacity. So I think that might be why they're releasing all of these vassals. Um, AI does not use trade companies. They do not. Speaking of bugs, look at this pie chart. It says 91% everyone. 91%.
Oh my god, this is going so slow now. Oh, this is going to crash, dude. Come on, you can last another 25 years. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You're sitting at full military hegemony too. Oh my, 7,000 dev now. Well, everybody, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know I enjoyed watching it myself in the observer mode. And hopefully now that they've patched the corrupt save file bug, we can get back to playing the game as intended. If you like the video, please be sure to subscribe and like the video down below. It means a lot to the channel and really helps us out. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy this time lapse. And as always, I'll see you next time.